This video solves the problem that when you connect your uh, internet server, IIS server, with a SQL server, here's a SQL server, and you get a response of your machine which calls uh, internal response which says, okay, the login, the database cannot uh, not be opened by the login, login failed, login failed uh, for the user, in NT authority uh, network service. It's in, written here in German, it's uh, default on the language. <coughs> so what we have to do here is, <coughs> you have to go to the SQL Server Express, in this case, and you have to create this new login. Uh, this happens when you have a new uh, Windows Server, when you change your uh, web host or new provider or set up a new Windows Server from 2008 to 2012 or maybe in the future 2016, then uh, the SQL Server is blank at the moment, at the beginning. So you have to add in here at the login, uh, you have to create this one and you, you will find it here in search expanded and now you find this one here on the uh, network service it's here in, in German. Uh, now when we go there, you will see this. This is the first one is the machine. This uh, that's the entire machine, the name of the machine, and then the network service. So this will create an error when I click on that and says, okay, uh, create failed because uh, for the for the server uh, for the login server network service because that's wrong. What we have to do, we have to write in here, uh, network, <coughs> uh, where is it, copy, now go back again here, we have to say here, this one, type it exactly the way as it's written, because this is not the machine itself, this is, uh, this is the the base machine. It's the internal uh, um, authority. It's uh, the the login, the global login. Let's say like this. So when I click on there, you will see this works. Okay, now it's it's here. And you have uh, as soon as you have done this, you have go to the properties, and then you select uh, a user mapping to all those databases which you need. So this is my main database and that's the second one. And when you're there, you have, you will see, this is the default, it's a public default. And sometimes it's useful that you increase this. So when you click on that line, and then sometimes I, for myself, I do uh, quite often, I include the owner. Uh, at least when you add a new, uh, a new user which is speci specially for your uh, web server like this one this is the server i user iis app service that's a new one which i created for my uh, web base then at least you have to also to add this one and make a user mapping and then at least you have to increase this one so you get also the um, more a little bit more access to your database so by when i click on there and now when I run it again, where is it? Uh, <coughs> again, code doku db test. I wrote a small test script which creates, which connects the database. And then, uh, as soon as it's created, it uh, connected the database. It asks for another uh, for another file. So this is still wrong. Why is why is this one? Network authority didn't I connect it? Again, we go here to our SQL Server. That's the SQL Server network authority. We double click on that. Now I say my uh, server roles of the network authority and a user mapping. Do user mapping? Ah, okay. There I clicked when I demonstrated uh, all that stuff. Then it didn't work. I increased that. 
now when I skip again on this point and refresh now we see I get uh, all entire um, an entire um, access uh, access for the database so this is in inside there's a uh, connect the database a connection string and then there's also a select database <coughs> and you will find this stuff here when you go to the database itself if you go also there to the properties then you will find here that add permissions uh, the here it is uh, in the test I go there you will see it here at permissions there's the network service and as soon as you click on there and look have a look on effective then you will see connect and select is allowed on there and this is the same one for, uh, for the other stuff I have also to impl uh, implement there this is an old one but this one works and that's what I wanted to tell you how to increase all this stuff stuff go to here to the security login and add this network service I hope I could help you because I was working two days for, for this stuff.